Hello everyone, I am Shutapa Dutta, present in front of you to explain the next topic. Hi guys, hope you all are uh, well in this pandemic situation, so keep yourself safe. And I am starting my today's topic. That's the embryonal development in human being. It's my subtopic under the uh, human reproduction and starting my topic. Okay. In my last video, I have told you about the implantation and fertilization. Fertilization and implantation. In fertilization, the zygote is formed by sperm and ovum. And this zygote will enter in the embryological development. And that's the first stage will be by completion of the cleavage. Now, what is cleavage? I am giving you uh, some idea about the cleavage. And after that, I shall give the steps. Cleavage is nothing but the like the division of mitosis division. But what's the main difference of mitosis and cleavage? That in mitosis division, uh, we know that the mother cell will produce two daughter cells of its own kind. Here also the same thing happens, but the size of the uh, daughter cells will not be the same with the mother cell. They are smaller than the mother cell as in case of zygote we can see that the diameter of the zygote, suppose the diameter of the zygote is 10 mm and the diameter of the uh, next stage is uh, will also be after cleavage will be 10 mm but their cell number is 16 to 32. So this is the main difference in between cleavage and mitosis. So in case of cleavage, uh, there is uh, no um, uh, cytokinesis is different. That is division of cytoplasm is like that that suppose in zygote we know that the ooplasm is the main thing where the nuclear division is taking place. Now each and every nuclei will take the ooplasm from that and they will distribute the total ooplasm among them. It is not that they will be larger in size or they will um, and each and every uh, cell of that will be the just miniature of the mother cell zygote in chromosomal complement and in other things just only the size of the cell and the amount of the uh, cytoplasm or ooplasm will be less okay i think it's clear to you agar nahi samajh mein aaya to comment box mein bolna to hum koshish karenge aur bhi acha se samjhane ka theek hai to next is cleavage after cleavage the formation of the morula so our first content is zygote Zygote will give rise to the morula and after that the morula will give rise the blastula and next is gastrula and I am, now I am explaining about this all things. Now what is zygote you know that is the combination of the um, ovum and sperm after fertilization. Now zygote is like this. It has a nuclei. It has a nucleus. Sorry, it has a nucleus. Now this is the zygote. After that, it will be converted to modula by cleavage. The size of the zygote and morula will be same. It might be here I have, mm, I have drawn some larger or some smaller. That is different but theoretically you just know that the size of the mm, morula is same with the zygote. And inside the morula there are so many cells all are miniature of the 
जाय गो but modula is just a compact mass of cell it might be here some intercellular spaces i have drawn that by mistook of the is manually done that's why but in case of modula the modula has the same size with the zygote as well as it has no intercellular spaces like that it's a compact ball of cells compact mass of cells where no cavity is there so this is the modula and after that it will be converted to blastula and then it will be implanted like the blastula i am drawing now in modula this small miniature of the zygote they are known as blastomeres blastomeres look students don't uh, we, uh, mix it with the blastula blastula and blastomeres are completely different okay now this then is blastula in blastula the size of the modula is increased as all the small cells they are scattered throughout the periphery now they are scattered throughout the periphery so there is the space at the center and this space is known as blastocell this is the rock diagram of the blastula and blastula is also known as blastocyst blastocyst so we have started here blastomeres that's quite different and then blastula blastula is same with the blastocyst it's also called blastocyst at the center of the blastula there is the large cavity which is known as blastocell where you will get in biology the cell that means simo cell blasto cell are uh, like that that means it has a cavity now this is known as blasto cell and this is embryonic knob what is embryonic knob embryonic knob will contain the main embryo proper where from the embryo will be formed so the embryo knob embryo knob containing the embryo proper the most potential cell among this in this embryonic knob there will be the embryo proper which will ultimately give rise the embryo and then the fetus now look here this is blastocell and these poles are known as this pole is known as vegetal pole isko vegetal pole isliye kaha jata hai ki isme embryo nahi hai aur another one is animal pole jisme embryo hai wo uska name hai naam hai animal pole so there are two poles uh, in a blastocyst uh, or blastula uh, we are getting a very prominent blasto cell and then the surrounding cells and the embryonic knob where the embryo proper is there and a uh, vegetal pole and animal pole so this is about the blastula and uh, the most important thing about blastula this is the 16 to 32 cells in number and it get implanted in the embryo sorry it get it's get implanted in the endometrium okay so in this period the endometrium in within the endometrium it this uh, blastula is coming 
and this is the uh, many in many uh, places in board also and in competitive also many uh, many uh, in many question papers you will see that asking in which stage the embryo uh, human embryo get implanted and that's the blastula stage okay now next is gastrula when the division of the cleavage is completely stopped in gastrula uh, in gastrula we shall get two stages one is number one is formation of the germinal layers or we can say differentiation of the cells and in another that is the morphogenetic movement so gastrula is characterized by two things i am rubbing these things it has number one differentiation of cells cells and number two morphogenetic movement what's the differentiation differentiation matlab kya hota hai uh, we know that we are triploblastic animal we are also animal we are also included in the zoology okay so um uh, it, we are the triploblastic animal and we have three germ layers or three germinal layers these three germinal layers i, I think you know it that ectoderm endoderm and meso mesoderm and endoderm These three germinal layer will give rise the complete uh, embryo that is the complete fetus will be formed from this three germinal layers. Now uh, what is this is differentiation of cells this one and what is the morphogenetic movement morphogenetic movement is the movement of the cells during this stage this uh, during gastrulation that it will get, give the give rise the all organs now organogenesis will start from morphogenetic movement after morphogenetic movement so in morphogenetic movement this is the separation of the cell uh, organ forming cells uh, and uh, from one place to they, they will move from one place to other that is um, suppose i am telling that this is a stage of anarchy as suppose i am telling that in in a classroom there are 50 students uh, now i am dividing the students for different functions suppose 10 students will go for the stage um, uh, decoration 10 will for the uh, cultural program 10 will go to the cultural uh, to, to prepare the cultural group uh, 10 will go to the um, uh, teach go to uh, uh, distribute the cards of the function to other schools etc now agar ipachas bachcho ko hum alag alag se kar dete ek sath jab declare hoga तब इन लोग जब अपना अपना ग्रुप में सेपरेटेड हो जाएंगे तो उसके पहले थोड़ा सा देयर विल बी द एनर्जी द सम हैफजर्ड एक्शंस ऑफ देम दिस इज दिस टेक्स थिंग हैपेंस इन केस ऑफ मॉर्फोजेनेटिक मूवमेंट इन मॉर्फोजेनेटिक मूवमेंट द सेल्स विल बी सेपरेटेड इन अ इन सच अ मैनर दैट दे विल फॉर्म डिफरेंट ऑर्गन्स नाउ द नेफ्रोजिनस टिश्यू विल गो टू द प्लेस ऑफ द किडनी कार्डियक टिश्यू विल गो टू द प्लेस ऑफ द हार्ट एटसेट्रा इन दिस वे एट this period one thing is very important you just note down it that amniocentesis is done what is amniocentesis i think you are um, already familiar with this term i think i don't know but amniocentesis kya hai it's not the part of the developmental uh, embryonic development but it's a test which is required during this morphogenetic movement so i am explaining 
the students who are, who are interested to go for the NEET, they will get the information very nicely from this. So every time I am telling you that you just watch the complete video. Up to the last of my video, there will be so many informations in this way. Okay. So now amniocentesis is a, a test, test technique of the test by which it can be analyzed that the whether the uh, developing embryo has any genetical disturbance, genetical problem or um, like this, this types of like thalassemia, sickle cell anemia, or Down syndrome, etc. That can be analyzed from the uh, more, uh, amniocentesis and that at the time of morphogenetic movement as during morphogenetic movement the cells are all are spreaded in the uh, nutrient medium of the fetus. So, the, during this period the states can be done and another thing is that which is now illegal in India not in all um, countries of our, our world but in India the sex determination before the child birth is illegal and banned and that also can be done from the amniocentesis. I think you know that in many places yet in the India the, the female feticide female feticide is there that means if the embryo is female embryo then some then the people might kill them. So to stop this uh, cruel uh, system or um, to stop this very bad system the, uh, this is uh, this can be this can't be done or um, in uh, so in amniocentesis two things are known number one genetic disorder of the embryo disorders of the developing embryo and number two is that sex determination or knowing about the sex of the fetus But this is banned in India, I have told you. The reason also I have told you that the people of India, they are not yet much educated about this, that the older children are same. We should have this concept that all the children are same. They might be son or daughter. Next is that after that morphogenetic movement, this gastrulation is completed. So in gastrulation, three um, germinal layers are formed and um, another is that, that the morphogenetic movement. Now, after blastula, formation of the blastula, another information about this, that after the formation of the blastula, that uh, trophoblast cell, will uh, already I have told it in my last video in implantation, the trophoblast cell they just erode the cells of the endometrium and uh, bury the, the embryo inside the endometrium. And after that, the endometrium tissue they will grow above the uh, embryo or go uh, go uh, grow above the fetus. And um, by which they enter inside the endometrium, that place is known as closing coagulum. These all informations are very important for the competitive exam. Just mind it, okay? Isko man mein rakho jo ye sab term tumko sikna hai aur ye video last tak watch karoge tab all both sare term tum sunoge aur sikhoge, okay? So just watch the complete video. It's my request to you. Then next is that I am giving a list of this. At the last of the developmental embryology, number one, development, suppose developmental steps of embryo. 
Now number one, one in one month, that is in four weeks, the heart is Number two, second month, limbs and deserts. What is limbs and deserts? Limbs and deserts are leg and hands and our fingers, deserts. Limbs and deserts are developed. Number three, on first trimester, first trimester means 12 weeks. All the organs are developed, organ systems are developed. All the major organ systems organ systems are developed number four on five months. Hairs on the head are developed and the fetus starts the movement. On the second trimester, that's on 24 weeks. I'm making this to write the fifth point. On the second trimester, Twenty four weeks. Body hairs are drawn. Body hairs. Eyelashes. It's a char drawn. That is on six months of the baby and up. After that, at the nine month, it's ready for parturition or ready for ready for delivery. Ready for delivery on sorry, this is six point I think. That is on nine months. So that's all about the embryological development. I have tried to give all the points necessary for your exams. So in my next video, I shall give other informations about the topics.